In this video, we are going to understand what user provisioning is, its features, how it works, and the benefits it can provide to your organization. User provisioning is an identity access management process that involves creating, updating and deleting a user's account and access in multiple applications and systems at once. It means maintaining digital identities that are user accounts in a system and assigning appropriate privileges to these user accounts. These actions are triggered whenever information is added or changed in a HR system. This access management practice can sometimes also include associated information such as user entitlements, group memberships, and even the groups themselves which helps to apply access policies accordingly. Deprovisioning means deleting a user and removing their access from multiple applications and network systems at once. Deprovisioning action is triggered when an employee leaves a company or changes roles within the organization. Group provisioning. It is required when you want to maintain the same user hierarchy and access control in multiple applications at once. Group provisioning syncs user groups with all related applications and provides equivalent access to all the members of a team. Automated user provisioning. Many organizations have moved to automated user provisioning. It means making manual processes of onboarding and offboarding employees automatic. Identity lifecycle management. Let's see why exactly do we need automated user provisioning. Need to provision arises when information is added or changed in an original system database for example HR system or institute database. Hiring, promotions, transfers, are examples of events that can set off provisioning. This is known as the joiner, mover, lever process. An automated process ensures that an employee is provisioned for on-premises and external apps based on their role's attributes. These attributes and permissions are then stored in one central database, ensuring they can be easily modified as employee role changes. When departments or teams execute a new tool or modify an employee's position, access can also be rolled out based on group rules. Provisioning plays a major role throughout the identity lifecycle, starting from user onboarding to exit. First hiring. When a new employee joins an organization, the identity management system will generate a unique username, create a directory, an email account, and a home directory on the appropriate file server. It will also add additional resources according to the user's role, and set them up for account claiming, if applicable. Based on the nature of the organization, a user account creation can be an administrative task or a self-service task depending on the business. Second assigning. Based on the user job profile within the organization, the necessary user roles are assigned to the user account to provide only the required privileges later in the identity lifecycle. The user identifier and the privileges are used to authenticate and authorize the user into the system and determine the access. Third promotion. When an employee is promoted to a new position, the identity management system will update their account details as necessary. If they need additional accounts, those will be automatically created. In addition, new permissions will be assigned and old ones will be removed as necessary. Fourth Employee Departures When a user leaves the organization, the user will be deprovisioned from the system. The access rights will be revoked to prevent the user from using the system further. Fifth Additional Requests Not all the access can be defined by the HR system. With a self-service solution, users and their managers can request access to additional systems and applications. The access request is then routed to the responsible party, who can approve or deny access, with the click of a button. All without involving the IT department. Additionally, there are few more provisioning features. Audit trails and reports. User provisioning systems can track precisely who has access to what information across the organization. These systems can also generate reports that provide information about user privileges that are useful for security audits. A provisioning policy maps the people in organizational roles to services that represent corresponding resources and identity manager. The policy sets the entitlements that people have while accessing the services. Access Control Management It is a critical function of a centralized, single-point provisioning system. Besides protecting sensitive information, access controls expose existing accounts that have unapproved authorizations or are no longer necessary. The provisioning system links together account information with authoritative information about the users who own the accounts. Notifications. Users can also be notified about the changes to their accounts and their privileges. Self-service operations. Many user provisioning systems provide self-service interfaces that can be used by users to reset their password, request for access, 
review their accounts to check the username, and so on. Sophisticated user provisioning systems are capable of creating groups, replicating organizational structure, and even provisioning and deprovisioning services. Workflow Management User provisioning system enables governing workflows thereby providing the ability to grant access to the system upon approval. Now let's see three different methods of provisioning. First inbound provisioning. Creating and managing user identities in the internal system using an external user store is called inbound user provisioning. Second outbound provisioning. Propagating internal user identities to an external system is called outbound provisioning. Third JIT provisioning. It stands for just-in-time provisioning, which allows the creation of user accounts automatically for the logged-in users in the identity server. Just-in-time provisioning talks about how to provision users to the identity server at the time of federated authentication. A service provider initiates the authentication request. The user gets redirected to the identity server. And then identity server redirects the user to an external identity provider for authentication. Just-in-time provisioning gets triggered in such a scenario when identity server receives a positive authentication response from the external identity provider. The identity server will provision the user to its internal user store with the user claims from the authentication response. Now let's see user provisioning and deprovisioning key benefits. Easily and effortlessly manage employees' profiles. Automated user provisioning removes the difficulties and delays caused while manually managing profiles and account privileges thus providing better ease of operation. It creates and maintains employees' user attributes, and automatically assign access permissions, based on predefined roles. Improves productivity. It minimizes the impact of human error and manual work, that leads the IT departments to concentrate on more impactful projects. Reduces administrative cost and time. A change in a user status is automatically reflected in access rights across organization boundaries and geographies. You can reduce administrative costs through automated procedures for governing user provisioning. Streamline user management across applications. Automatically import users from Active Directory, LDAP, and other apps. Provisioning enables you to continuously propagate user profiles to ensure that your systems have the latest updates. Minimizes risks and improves security. Automating user provisioning and deprovisioning removes all sorts of risks, providing individuals with permissions in a safe and private manner. Deprovisioning prevents former employees from accessing corporate resources after he leaves the organization, improving security and confidentiality of the organization. Preventing security gaps. Provisioning provides employees with access only when it is necessary thus preventing any security gaps that hackers could exploit to gain unauthorized access to sensitive organization information. Compliance made easy. On demand, detailed reports readily demonstrate who has access to which resources and when licenses expire. It gives admin more insight to have a clear understanding of who has access to what applications. Customization options. Based on business plans and requirements, it can be decided how much identity manager needs to be customized. Another customization plan might provide for two or more applications to be provisioned across an entire organization, after a successful testing. User application interaction can be customized, and procedures for provisioning resources might be changed to accommodate automated provisioning. I hope I was able to help you understand what is user provisioning, deprovisioning, their methods and benefits. Thank you for watching this video. For more information drop us a query on info at securify.com for any other question.